In question 6 of this exercise, the problem statement says, show that of all line segments drawn from a given point not on it, the perpendicular line segment is the shortest. So what this basically means is that if you have a line and you have a point not on the line, then the shortest line segment drawn from the point to that line will be the perpendicular line segment. So to help you visualize this problem better, let me first show you a simulation of this situation and then we will write out the proof properly. So here's a simulation for the given situation. We have this line uh, that you see and we have a point P that is not on the line and from this point P we have drawn a segment PX onto the line. Now what I will do is I will move P along the line and what I want you to do is observe the length of PX as X moves along the line. So if I take X let's say towards the left side uh, you can see that the length of PX is increasing. Now if I move Px towards this side, the length of Px starts to decrease. It continues to decrease as x moves forward um, and at some point when Px becomes perpendicular to the line uh, somewhere here, this length takes its shortest possible value and then as x moves towards the other side, uh, the length of Px starts to uh, increase again, right? So. Clearly, the length of Px becomes the shortest when uh, Px is perpendicular to uh, the line. So this basically shows you that the shortest line segment that can be drawn from any point not on a line to that line uh, will be the perpendicular line segment. So coming back to our problem statement, let's prove this fact in a rigorous manner that the perpendicular line segment will be the shortest. So I've drawn this figure for you where we have this line L and we have this point P that is not on the line L and we have to show that the perpendicular drawn from P onto the line which is PM is the shortest possible line segment that you can draw from P to the line. So what I've done is I've taken another, another point on the line, any other point X and joined PX and I will show that no matter where X is, uh, PM will surely be less than PX and that means that um, the shortest line segment will be PM. Now if you consider triangle PMX in this uh, triangle uh, this angle at uh, P angle at M is 90 degrees right so this means that angle PMX must be greater than uh, angle PXM. So angle PMX must be greater than angle PXM for sure because the angle PMX is 90 degrees so this must be the largest angle in the triangle and this means that the side opposite angle PMX which is PX must be greater than the side opposite angle PXM and the side opposite angle PXM is PM. So PX must be greater than PM. In other words, no matter where you take X along the line, as long as PX is not perpendicular to the line L, uh, PX will surely be greater than PM, where, uh, where PM is perpendicular to the line. So in other words, PM is the shortest possible line segment that you can draw from P to the line L and that completes our proof. And basically the key idea behind this uh, proof is very simple. In any right angled triangle, the hypotenuse must be longer than any side. So in this right angle triangle PMX, PX must be greater than PM. And this basically proves that PM is the shortest um, possible segment that you can draw from P onto the line L. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, Explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.